Hey guys, today we're going to be changing the waste gate adjustment on the 2013-2014 Dodge Dart Turbo 1.4 liter. Uh, this is for anybody that has the P0199 code, uh, has really bad throttle response, and uh, that experienced bad turbo surge. You get a lot more power out of this throughout the entire spectrum, and it makes the car a lot more drivable. This is for... Uh, turbos built prior to around May 2014. They're going to be getting four to five millimeters of adjustment through this uh, preference is yours and you're going to be seeing around zero to 1.5 millimeters of preload. I'll show you what that is in a minute and your newer turbo people are going to have eight to nine from factory. Some people have been adjusting them, them to ten. If yours is at eight to nine and you want to adjust it you can go ahead. Um, I want to do that without a boost gauge on those now, I wouldn't really go above four or five unless you have a boost gauge to see what's actually happening. You're gonna after you do this adjustment, you gotta drive it 40 or 60, 70 miles after uh, wide open throttle it, you know, seven, eight times, get a good runs in. You might hear some pinging, it's gonna fit and feel a little different. If it's way bad and it keeps doing it and it doesn't go away after a couple miles, uh, you need to back off a pre uh, millimeter or two and you'll be all set. Uh, what we're doing is actually adjusting the preload on the wastegate, and that's the thing that holds in the boost. So when you get a little higher up, the boost tends to drop off a lot on this, and we're going to be fixing that and how it actually holds it. So uh, here we go. First things first, we're going to take off the engine cover, which which is a. 10 millimeter and it's held on by two screws. We're just going to take these two off. And then to get the cover off, you lift the front and push it backwards and wiggle it a little. There's a little thing on the back that goes in here and holds it on there, so you got to pop that out. Place that aside. Then you got these three little screws that we got to get out. Now again, this is a 10 millimeter deep socket that I'm using. You're going to want some deep sockets. And this is just one screw and two nuts that we get off right here. Right, and this just simply pops off. We're going to place this aside right now. After you get that first panel off, we're going to get the second one. This nut right here tends to be very difficult to get off, so we're just going to spray a little WD-40 on there. About out right here. Just let that one soak in for a minute. Just go do these back ones, which shouldn't be too, too difficult. And there's the third one. There's your three, and then this 
simply lifts off. Then we're going back to the 10 millimeter. Now I think the worst part is is these two down here. They are very difficult to get to. You can use a uh, a short regular socket, um, 10 millimeter for this one. This one is a big pain. You have to use a uh, little wrench and just go out by hand up into back here because the covers in the way and it's just a big pain. So after you get the nuts and screws off, you simply lift the cover out of its position. Please note though, it's a little more difficult than I'm about to do it. When I did this actual wastegate adjustment the first time, I tightened this nut up too much and actually sheared the screw off, so don't do that. A little different, more difficult than that. So we're gonna put that all aside. Wastegate, wastegate actuator, and here is what we're going to be adjusting. Now, first thing you're going to want to do, get a little shop rag, stuff it in. All around the little area, because there's a little piece, a little C-clip that we have to pop out that we do not want falling into the bay, because you're never going to get that back, and that's not good. There we go. Alright, so then we're gonna just take it out. There we go. And this is what it looks like. And then we're just gonna set that aside. Alright, so after we get the little C clamp off. You're going to want to loosen the nut up a little bit, rotates away from you um, before you take the actual arm off. Just, you know, break it free and you're good. After that, we're just going to pop the arm off. And so first, um, we're going to see how much you when you go back you want to see how much of the adjustment that you actually had each full revolution 360 is one millimeter each half is half so however many turns it takes to get you to line up with the little arm right here is how much you had now I had five because I've done this already and you're going to want to loosen it, which is turning it towards you, uh, until you can get the arm onto the pin without pulling it. So, right there you can see it's free. If I do one more half turn, I can't get it on. So, we're going to go back one, and we're at zero preload. 
so you can see it goes on. So if you're going to do this, I recommend between four and five, uh, and you got to do quite a few wide open throttle pulls after you do this and drive it around 80 miles for it to get fully adjusted. It's going to get a little weird, but I've already had it at five. I'm going to move mine to six, uh, simply see what it does. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some pliers, you're going to line this up, and you're going to pull and get it on there. And then you simply get the nut back in position. And tighten everything up and then don't forget about your little C clamp be very 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 careful when putting it on there not to drop it and you'll hear it click and now it's in position and now you've adjusted your wastegate so thanks for watching